This video is a guide for technicians installing communication cabling between a Linux Rail outdoor unit and more than one VRF indoor units. First, let's cover the basics of communication wiring requirements. All communication cabling is 18 gauge, stranded, shielded, and polarity sensitive. The communication wiring is a continuous daisy chain from the condenser to each indoor unit in series. No splices are allowed. We ground the shield directly to the chassis screw on the unit. We connect the shield at each end of the run. Tie the shield together along the run. The communication wiring is connected to the indoor unit steering the installation. The final connection to the outdoor unit is made during startup. At the indoor unit, connect to P and Q. At the air handler control kit, connect to P and Q. On the day of startup, connect P and Q at the outdoor unit. The wiring is polarity sensitive. That means that the wire that starts on P at the indoor unit must land on P at the air handler control kit and on P at the outdoor unit. Refer to the real outdoor unit installation manual for additional communication and wiring information.